So in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. So I want to find the value of this problem. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting my problem here. So 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. And to start off, I'm going to rewrite 19 here as 18 plus 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1. And now I have this minus 2 to the power of 18. Now from here, because I have two terms that are the same, I can factor out 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times well, 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply just 2 to the power of 1. And negative 2 to the power of 18 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times, well, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. So I get 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 1 which is equal to 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 as my answer. Now, there is actually another method of solving this problem. So going back, our, originally pro our original problem was 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18, right? And what we did was we wrote 19 as 18 plus 1. And we solved it by factoring out 2 to the power of 18. So now, what if instead of rewriting 19, I rewrite 2 to the power of 18 as 2 to the power of 19 minus 1. Now, the way I'm going to solve this is... I'm going to rewrite 19 minus 1 as 19 plus negative 1. Now, I can still use that property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 19 plus negative 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. So I can still do it. Now from here, my greatest common factor from these two terms is 2 to the power of 19. So I get 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. And 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18.